gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter got it and thank you for coming back to my channel that channel is Deb Chanel's 40s world <coughs> excuse me and thank you for all your continued support and love you have shown me on my channel thank you for my past subscribers my future subscribers and my current subscribers and as always like share and subscribe to my video channel and always hit the notification bell button so you'll know when I drop down new videos but let's get on into this must-see video that celebrity insider put out today on one of the housewives again you know my channel is all about the housewives of atlanta and married to medicine and etc 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 but we're going to get into this gentleman who was a part of the bravo family when they initially got started his name is carlos king i'm sure you all remember him from um what did he produce? The Hollywood Divas. And he had Todd Tucker over there helping him out too. Yes, that's Candy Burr's boyfriend at the time, whom later became her husband. Okay, but yes, he produced shows like Hollywood Divas, The Next 15, and My Super Sweet 16 featuring Lil Wayne's daughter, uh, Regine Carter. Okay, but we're going to also know him or remember him by him so-called giving Phaedra Parks information about Candy and Todd wanting to possibly drug uh, and, you know, kind of do some malicious, uh, not malicious, uh, insensuous, insensuous, or hell, something like that with, uh, with Portia Williams, meaning like the dungeon thing that came apart. Well, it got her fired and it also got... Uh, Carlos King fired and Candy looking at some litigation type proceedings. But since they got rid of the two troublemakers that tried to pretty much defame her character, her uh, person of who she created or wanted people to see throughout the community, they got rid of her because they didn't want Candy to get the law on them, meaning Bravo and True Entertainment. You know, Andy, you know, he's co-producer, co-executive producer over there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. So they had to excommunicate, kick out, boot both of them, Carlos King as well as Faith Parks. Fired was the last calling card she had for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And we won't be saying that she hadn't been trying to get back with them, but she should know better. She's a lawyer, you know, attorney at law, Parks Enterprises or whatnot, Esquire, however she uh, deems herself at this time. But Candace said, no, 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 no. Like Destiny Child, no, 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 no. Yes, and they've been definitely keeping that a part of their uh <laughs> taglines as well when you think about bringing Phaedra Parks back. No, 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 no. Yes, that's what comes up into their memory banks. Yes, Carlos King left a lasting forever memory. And I'm sure he regrets the things that he said and tried to make more stories be salacious and all that kind of stuff. And he had to move on to other endeavors, all right? Or face, I'm sure, prosecution. But anyway, that's another story. He had been doing, like I said, other stories, other sitcoms, like the next six, uh, 15. And we know how that went, straight in the toilet. So he ain't really had no comeback, too much of anything uh, since the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But he has tried to come back. He's trying to start something anew. And he wants to use Portia Williams in all of that. Yes, I'm talking about the recreation of good times. Let me see. Something. Making a way if you can. Temporary layoff. Good times. He's been trying to rip off. Good times. Scratching and surviving. Good times. Hanging in a child. Good times. Ain't we lucky we got a dun 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 dun. Good times. Yes. Yes, they trying to get Portia Williams to uh, play the part of Bernadette Stans, who used to play Thelma. Now, I'm kind of torn between the two because I like Portia and I love uh, Bernadette Stans when she was playing in the old Good Times episodes with James uh, Evans as her father, which I forgot what his name was. Sean, you remember what his name was? 
Yeah, his real name. <laughs> she it, it sells her too, but probably when I get finished editing it, I'll probably know. But y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, James and 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 uh JJ and Michael. Oh, okay. So of course, Florida. She's uh don't went on to the glory land, and she won't be able to be recreate. Well, she could be recreated uh by someone else playing her, but ain't nobody like Florida Evans. Ain't nobody like her oh, girl. But anyway. They're thinking about doing a pilot or a reboot of the old sitcom show, uh, Good Times. And I'm here for it, but I'm like, you know, Bernadette Stance is still in the picture. She's still out there, and she can remember her lines of this, not, this third, this, that, and the third. Why not give her a chance? You know, why not give Thelma a reboot? Why not have her play Thelma? Because it's like we're used to seeing her, so why would we really want to replace her? But I know we got new schools, new heads up in here, and they want to do their own twist on good times. But like I said, it ain't nothing like the original. Nothing like the old times, okay? Nothing like the first printout. But anyway, let's get on to this story that Celebrity Insider brought, on, brought out for us to partake of, okay? It was written by... a. Alexis Stone. She's a journalist, commentary person over there. Who knows? Okay, but she's writing on blogs or articles for Celebrity Insider, her employer. Okay, the story is titled "Port." Excuse me. Portia Williams could star in the sitcom Good Times. See the online petition. Child, I tell you, people got petitions running around here on everything. Okay? But I, like I said, I'm partial. I would rather see Bernadette Stans play it, but if she can't for some reason, you know, I don't know if she's um have any illnesses uh because she has become up in age, but not so much. But you know, maybe she can't remember her lines, or maybe she has dementia at this time, or just maybe she don't want to come back. But I hope uh that they had offered her the part before they go looking for other people to uh that resembles her and uh can play her. Uh, I, I wish they would have gave her that first opportunity. But moving on back to the story, that's just my sidebar. It says Portia Williams just let her fans know that people all over the place keep telling her that she looks just like Thelma. There's also an online petition circulating uh, on the Internet, but it's best to see Portia. Sorry about that. Portia's own post on social media below. Okay. At Kerry Washington, I'm all in. Everywhere I go, people tell me I look like them. I've been waiting by the phone. Tag her and let her know, LOL. And it gives us different emojis at the Carlos King. Seems like the world agrees. Actress, little Thelma, VI, Dish Nation, Portia captioned her post. If you go over to Portia for real on Instagram, you'll see all the accolades she has put on herself and the similarities and comparisons they're making for her to... Uh, I guess get that particular spot on the new reboot if it comes to pass. Okay, so Cynthia Bailey says, Yes, Portia as Thelma at Kerry Washington, and a fan wrote this laugh out loud. You do twins pretty though. Wow, if I didn't see it with my own eyes, another commentator or a commenter wrote, uh, Someone else told Portia, I always say you look alike or you look alike both of you all while another commenter posted i would definitely be watching every episode if you're on there another follower said and you have blank moments like her too with the um crying emojis laughing laughing emojis i guess you would call it uh personality seems fun portia Someone else comes up with another petition idea. Let's start a petition, people. At Carrie Washington, here is who you need for the role of Thelma. Other than this, Portia just had a girls' night out with her pals, and she made sure to keep her fans updated by posting some pics on her social media account. Her twin sister, Lauren Williams, was also there. Portia is currently recovering following foot surgery. Okay. Yes, like I said, going over there to Portia's Instagram account, tell her Dale Chanel's 48th World sent you, okay, and if she haven't subscribed to my channel, tell her to subscribe to my channel, okay, but anyway, that was my uh, good, foot, uh, good feel moment video that I was seeing Portia try to elevate herself into more movie roles, so I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm good for that, our sitcom type of uh, roles, so, um, 
I'm glad to see her prospering and, and preparing herself for other major moves that can definitely be very lucrative for her. Glad for her. But like I said, I'm partial. I like old characters that are doing their thing here. They can make it like where they are now. You know, hopefully they ain't living in, you know, where they moved out the ghetto. And uh, they still have, I think, Amos. Amos something, his name. Dang, I can't. That's James. Uh, James Evans. His name was Amos something. But I can't remember. Y'all forgive me. You know, I'm 51. And, you know, hey, time is moving on. I can't remember all those. I can remember the characters' names, but I can't remember who they are as far as their uh, being of who they are outside of the camera rolling on them. Their, you know, initially biological born name. So, uh, that's all I got for this video, y'all. I was surprised and shocked. And really hope she gets the job if Bernadette Stans cannot play the part. You know, of course I want Bernadette. Hey, I love Bernadette Stans, but I love Portia too. But however they work it out, it'll be a good thing all the way around. Kudos for Portia for being lookalike of someone famous okay but y'all take it easy y'all tell me what y'all thought about that surprising revelation that carlos king is trying to pr promote another business adventure and employ people okay great job all the way around okay guys y'all put y'all comments down there tell me how y'all felt about the video tell me what y'all think about uh miss portia williams trying to recreate the role of Thelma of good times okay i'll talk to you soon in another video Bye bye Perfect.